Hey there, Ben here. Uh, day five, I believe, of my video experiment. I could be wrong. And today I want to talk about nostalgia and embarrassment. Um, two things near and dear to my heart uh, because I grew up in the 80s. Uh, anybody who has gone back in their photo albums and looked at their very large hair or their mega mullet or some neon outfit that they've worn or their need to imitate Madonna is just terrified at what they have looked like at various times. I think there are other decades that probably have produced interesting outfits. You know, the 70s have some interesting looks, the 60s perhaps as well. But I have to say the 80s were intensely loud and uh, uh, have generated more than a uh, a passing laugh when we've been sharing photographs. The reason why I bring some of this up, frankly, is because of Facebook. Now, while I've probably had some kind of an online persona on and off since, like, you know, the mid-80s and BBS, uh, really, obviously, it's gone into the mainstream. And Facebook is a huge example of how people who are not normally technology adopters have started using this. And so in the process, uh, uh, a lot of people have connected that haven't seen each other in a, r a really long time, including some dear friends that I have that go back all the way to elementary school. And in the process, a lot of interesting photos get posted. So the reason why I bring this up is it ties really directly to what I'm trying to do with this experiment. So when I first started blogging, uh, probably about seven years ago, uh, a lot of that was about having conversations with interesting people. But in the process, I found my voice. And it gave me a platform where I could speak to many people and not necessarily stand up in front of them. And I'm kind of not, believe it or not, uh, a person who likes to stand in front of large groups and speak, although I have to admit I've gotten over that in the past few years. Stage fright's been an ever-present thing for me, going back to the days of performance and uh, competitions. So in doing that channel, slowly but surely, I've been become more comfortable uh, talking to others about the things that I'm interested in and the things that I'm passionate about, both in writing and starting to also live and slowly but surely in video. So uh, kind of my rule of thumb with putting up pictures on Facebook is I would never put anything up of anybody that I wouldn't feel comfortable put it, having somebody put the same thing up of me. And I have no problem putting up things that other people might think are embarrassing and I just think are a part of my life. Uh, I don't put up anything in particular that I think I'd be embarrassed for my parents to see. And uh, maybe my daughter when she's a little bit older. But anyway, the point is, is that a lot of this experiment is about getting comfortable with the medium and getting comfortable in, with, in my own skin in this medium. So, you know, with that, nostalgia in the 80s, I always say, you know, uh, the best way to get over things is to basically be okay being silly, kazoos, hats, whatever, and uh, just feel comfortable being yourself. And then when you really have to be serious or talk about things that are important, you just feel more comfortable. So, uh, you know, never doing anything to anybody that I wouldn't do to myself. I'll tell you, uh, I maintain a small box of items from the 80s in my basement that I retrieved recently. So I'll show you the fact that I do indeed still own a Coca-Cola t-shirt that's approximately probably 24 years old or so. And I actually am crazy enough to still have a high school cafeteria tray. Don't ask. So in honor of the 80s and my embarrassment and this video experiment, I'm going to ask people to please post their favorite 80s song. And if I know it, or I can fake it, I will sing one line from it. And I will do the first five that get posted anywhere in any comments that I post this video anywhere uh, in a montage and post it online. Because I figure if I can do that, <laughs> I can do anything. Thanks for watching with me and having fun. Bye.